What's up enthusiasts and welcome to my Porsche 911 993 rear spoiler delete mod video. Behind me you'll see my 95 993 and I think Porsche got a lot right with this car. I love it. I love the lines. I love the driving experience. I mean I love everything about it except for one single thing and that's that automatic rear spoiler. Now there are two very specific reasons I hate it, and if you stick around till the end, I'll share with you what those are, and then you can tell me in the comments whether or not you agree. If you know anything about this car, then you know uh, it has a feature on it where when the car is sitting still, the spoiler is flush with the rear end of the car. Beautiful. But when you hit certain speeds, I don't know if it's like 42, 45 miles an hour, the rear, rear spoiler actually automatically deploys and kind of comes up in its uh, horizontal off the back end of the car. Uh, and that is exactly what I'm interested in disabling. So I learned from a buddy uh, recently that is a pretty easy mod to turn it off. So he sent me a link to the how-to on uh, Renlist. I checked that out and I'm ready to attack it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a short video on this outlining the steps to this project. I'm gonna see if I'm able to do it successfully myself without harming the car or myself. So let's get into it. Okay, here's what you're gonna need to do this job. A little bit of electrical tape, a screwdriver with both types of tips, and I got my light out just because it's for the sake of convenience and I thought it might be helpful in shooting the video. So let me get everything set up here and then we'll get into the next step. Okay, so the way you're going to want to approach this is you're going to need to access this little wiring module there. I don't know what the technical term is for it but we're gonna wanna unscrew this um, here as that holds it up, secures this up into there, it'll drop this down. Okay, so I've gotten that screw taken out. So now we're gonna pull this out of here. Now, what I'll wanna do is take a screwdriver and pop this up so I can slide this case off. Okay, I've popped this box off right here. All right, so the way you're gonna know how this goes back is you're gonna notice this pin right here. That's gonna work right in there. So now here comes the tricky part. I'm gonna have to be careful with this. I believe I'm gonna wanna take this piece, this top cap off of these wires. So I have the two wires out that um, deal with the spoiler and I'm just going to tell you right now be very very careful because the rest of these wires just want to pop out so I don't know I mean I'm sure it would be relatively easy to put them back together but I think it would be time consuming I'd be super nervous that I didn't put them back right so anyway this is uh, what it's going to look like when you have them out I'm going to put everything back together and then we'll test it all right here you have the job finished up as you can see I put the um, cartridge or whatever it's called back into the metal sleeve there um, I have taped off the wires that you're no longer using, and then I have zip tied them back to kind of get them out of the way and make sure they're not hanging there. So now I'm gonna give the car a test drive, keep my fingers crossed, hope nothing blows up or that my dash doesn't light up like a Christmas tree. Uh, so let me go see what I've got and then I'll come back. Hallelujah, success. Uh, I took the car out and it did not um, explode and uh, there were no weird warning lights. And uh, inexplicably, the rear end of the car felt just as planted uh, at high speeds uh, without the spoiler as it did with the spoiler. So uh, in all seriousness, I have no idea why Porsche did this. Um, I've done some reading on this topic and uh, while I can't cite the specific downforce statistics behind it, I, I seem to recall it has really no advantage um, you know, this spoiler does not keep the back end more planted uh, than if it didn't have it at all. So anyway, I promised you on the front end, I'd tell you exactly why I hate this feature. And there are actually two reasons why. Number one, I think it is absolutely hideous. Um, you know, I think it looks like an afterthought. It looks like kind of something hanging off the rear end of the car. Uh, and so I just don't think it has design-wise a place on the car. And the second reason is because it makes really annoying noises when you come to a stop. I've heard it uh, referred to as a coffee grinder, and I must admit that's what it sounds like. So 
Those are the two reasons that I hate it. I'm so glad it's gone and I will not be re-enabling it. So if you dig this kind of content, Porsche 911 coverage, mods, how-tos, occasionally, uh, events, interviews, that kind of thing, and please subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified. Appreciate you watching this video and I am out of here.